Hi, my name is Sandy Carter and I'm IBM's General Manager for Ecosystem Development and a Social Business Evangelist and welcome to our Social Business Coffee Break. Today we're going to talk about pace setters, someone who exceeds in their industry and what types of characteristics, what's happening in their business and their technology that makes them successful. Now we found from a recent IBM research project that pace setters, those that are the best in their industry, act differently. We found three what I consider aha moments. Um, the first is that partnering is in their DNA. The second is that analytics is their fuel. And the third is that integration is their breakaway move. So let's talk a little bit about what each of those mean. So if you think first about partnering as their DNA, one of the fascinating things that we found out about pace setters is that they are leveraging crowdsourcing using citizen developers to, um, to really fill some of the gaps in their portfolio. They're leveraging academia to help them make decisions about an analytics project or where they should go strategically. And they also leverage others outside of their four walls in this innovation. So whether that be a startup, a citizen developer, academia, they're really got this part, they've really got this partnering embedded in their DNA. And they are five times more likely to accelerate that innovation because they've added this partnering into their DNA. The second found, finding that we found is analytics is their fuel. Now, we've been talking about analytics, but if you think about it, not all of us are using real-time decisions based on data, based on analytics, and data that we can trust. For paysetters, 70% of them said that analytics are integral to their decision making. They don't make decisions without it. They cleanse their data, they understand their data, they visualize the data, they use predictive analytics to help spot a problem proactively and fix it before it becomes a bigger problem. So analytics here is really driving them quickly and causing them to become more competitive. And they do this on purpose, not on accident. Now the final trend that we see from these pace setters is that integration is their breakaway move. Now what do we, what do we call that? Why is that important? Well we've all heard about cloud, analytics, mobile, and social. But many companies are executing on those in a silo. These pay setters are leveraging these technologies together. They're using analytics and big data in the cloud to drive their mobile strategy. They're integrating these to shape their mobile integra integrations. They're really leveraging all of these technologies and the power that exists there to drive their competitiveness. Unlike some of the others in this study, who are using maybe one, maybe none, but they're definitely not combining them. And funny story, I was just with a client who has a social strategy and a mobile strategy. How do you do that? 68% of social is mobile. So how do you se separate them? These pace setters have truly learned the secret to that. So the key takeaways here is think creatively about your partnerships. Look at startups, look at these entrepreneurs, citizen developers, look at academia. Secondly, really invest in skills and advanced analytics. How are you using that today? And do you have the data that you could actually base some decisions upon? And then finally, last but not least, make sure as you're crafting your strategy that you're not just looking at social or mobile or analytics or cloud, but looking at those together and how that integration can really help you continuously engage. My name is Sandy Carter and this has been our Social Business Coffee Break.